is the loves that's over there on North Broadway in St. Louis. Now, I have firsthand accounts of that loves. And I, I seen with my own eyes of what be going on over there. Like they have street walkers over there. They got hustlers over there. So it's it's better that if you park in there for the night, it's best to lock up your trailer and make sure that your doors are locked and don't answer the door. Welcome back everybody to the channel and we just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. You older drivers already know that there is a do not stop list of truck stops and areas to go through when you're on a high value load. And this list has some states and some stations they feel that it is too dangerous for the truck driver as well as his load. So let's get into it. So as you guys know, I'm a truck driver and I drive mainly the Midwest area of the country. Now I have been all over, but most of the times I'm up in the Midwest. I'm also in the South as well. But in the Midwest areas, Wisconsin, Illinois, Iowa, I drive through those states all the time, especially Iowa going into Colorado, Utah. I've been to those states as well. So you guys know that we know that there are good and bad places to rest and get fuel at, right? But there's about five areas of locations in Illinois and Iowa and Wisconsin by themselves that you should stay away from, like literally. So I feel that this might be an interesting topic. I know this has been talked about before, but a lot of the newer drivers that came in since then, I, I do believe they need to know because us drivers that's been driving out here for quite a while we we pretty much know but why not let the new drivers that's coming in why not let them know about these turbulent places right because when they get there they park there for the night and then they wonder why something happened to them and they if they would have had this list of stations of not to park at then they probably might not be in that situation i don't know i don't know but I, again, I thought this would be a topic that I would like to share with you guys. Now, as far as the list, you probably seen it, you probably not, I'll list it in my community posts, but the five Illinois and Iowa places, okay, that's mentioned, there's a Flying J in Art Altor. Al Alturton, Illinois, the Loves near Council Bluffs, Iowa. Now I've been to that Loves and I'm not even sure why that even on the list, but may maybe I, when I go there, I probably go there on a quote unquote safe days. But these are the, the, the stops that's on the do not stop list. And by the way, U.S. Express used to have a list like this too, because like we would get on a high value load, and they would tell us right off the rip not to go to these places while we're on those loads. Try to find somewhere else other than the places that are on this list. Pilot Travel Centers near Council Bluffs, Iowa. Pilot Travel Center in East St. Louis, Illinois. And Road Ranger in Chicago, Illinois. Now, of course, I, I might not have park at the ones that just mentioned except for the loves in council bluffs iowa but i'm damn sure i pass through there right often often on on my travels i will say this much okay and i will i, I will say it again later on in this podcast but i would suggest you guys not to park or stop anywhere in east st louis iowa illinois i'm just saying i'm just saying okay now there is a, a missouri fuel stop that's on the list to avoid too if if you should be driving that way and this truck stop is like horrible many truck drivers consider this truck stop to be dangerous they say this truck stop in st louis missouri is the loves that's over there on North Broadway 
in St. Louis. Now, I had firsthand accounts of that love. And I, I seen with my own eyes of what be going on over there. Like they have street walkers over there. They got hustlers over there. So it's, it's better that if you park in there for the night, it's best to lock up your trailer and make sure that your doors are locked and don't answer the door for nothing. Okay. So if you ever are at that loves on North Broadway in St. Louis, definitely make sure you have your candle wasp spray and make sure you lock up everything. So the list that has like different states and different uh, truck stops that you shouldn't be parking at because of the value of the load that you're hauling. It can also be a risk for driver's health. So a couple of these areas I have been through before, Alabama, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, North Carolina, Iowa, Texas, and Colorado. I have been through there. Missouri, I, I just mentioned Missouri, that, that loves over there in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. But of course, Tennessee is definitely on the list. And our favorite loves truck stop over there off of Highway 78, which is known as Lamar Avenue, the trap, the strip. That is the worst loves that you can possibly park at. If you just getting some fuel, yeah, hurry up, get there, get some fuel and bounce. But to park there, no, hell no. That's one of the worst loves that you can park at. Further down the street used to be the two pilots and the Mike truck stop, which those used to be worse places as well. But to my understanding, I believe those three fuel stations has since been demolished and they are reworking the area for the highway. But that loves, that loves bro is still there. I-240 exit 21 at Highway 78, good old Lamar Avenue. So drivers, just, just be careful that when you're hauling a high value load, this particular areas of the world, you really don't want to be posting up at, at night. And I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, carriers have this same list. Not all carriers. I know my company didn't have this particular list. I don't believe so. But definitely carriers like mega carriers like US Express, Knight, Swift, they have this list. And if you're on those high value loads that, that has like prescription medicine, yeah, they definitely don't want you to be parking at these areas, let alone getting fuel. That's why those particular loads, when you pick up, they require you to have a full tank of fuel because they really don't want you to stop within the first couple of hours anyway. And when you do stop, you have to let them know where you are stopping at and you have to let them know what fuel station that you're stopping at. And I, you probably might have to get authorized to use that fuel station if you're under those particular loads. So again, drivers, just be careful. I'll leave this list in my community post so you guys can copy and paste it. You know, just watch out for yourself and just know that these particular fuel stations are kind of dangerous i do want to shout out this one last bonus tip and to be honest with you i never had a problem with this particular fuel station but everybody know the petro in atlanta over there off of down over the highway off of 285 everybody knows that area there's the blue flame right across the street if you want to get your liquor on there's a liquor store and if you want to get your cigarettes and barbecue there's there's those stores across the street but me personally i never had an issue with that petrol i i guess my only issue with that petrol is is that you have to pay to enter or let me rephrase that. You have to pay to leave if you did not get fuel and if you did not get maybe about $30, $40 worth of food. Uh, it's $25 to park overnight and about another $20 if you park in the reserve 
parking lot. But there is plenty of space in that particular Petra. You might be able to find a cut or two in that parking lot. But as far as anything that goes down in that parking lot, I personally haven't haven't had any issues. But if anybody had issues at the Petro Atlanta, let us know 